All right, good morning, everyone. It is about 7, 10 in the morning, Wednesday, November 10th. And, and in today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you what it's like to be in my life for one day on pediatrics. And honestly, sometimes it's pretty hectic. Sometimes it's kind of chill. Who knows what today's gonna bring, but let's just jump right into it. So today is actually my last day on pediatrics. Um, this rotation has been pretty much all in the outpatient setting or like a clinic, um, you know, your typical pediatrician's office where I'm mostly seeing kids for checkups um, where we just, you know, listen to their heart, listen to their lungs, look in their ears, um, things like that, Fit doing physicals for school and then obviously sick visits as well um which we've been having a ton of lately because we had the weather change recently and everyone's getting sick so lots of viral illnesses um the flu's making a comeback right now and it's been a lot of fun um i'm learning a lot of the really kind of standard diagnostic doctor skills i would say um so i've had a lot of fun with this rotation and my preceptor is absolutely amazing so this is my last day and i love this preceptor i'm gonna show her some love now and surprise the staff with a bunch of awesome mini donuts Right, it is 8.30 on the dot. We just got to the clinic. There's a bunch of cars already in the parking lot, so it looks like it's gonna be a hectic day as usual. Um, let's head in and see what they got waiting for us. So here's a look at one of the rooms here at the pediatrician's office. This one's Avengers theme. And definitely my favorite room. So the pediatrician has this intervention couch conveniently placed in her office so that way I can go to it, sit, ponder my life decisions, rethink my life completely in between seeing patients. All right, just got done seeing a couple of patients. First one was a flu follow-up. Um, they were super sick, went to the ER, and they tested positive for the flu. So they put them on Tamiflu and they told us, told them to come to us a few days for follow-up just to make sure everything's going all right. The next one, the patient had an ear infection. So we just prescribed some antibiotics, sent her on our way. So I showed you guys a Marvel room. Here is the Disney princess room. Pretty legit. All right, so we just saw another patient with a history, uh, like a two day history of a sore throat. Um, and I noted some expiratory wheezes when I was listening to her lungs. She has a history of asthma and her mom was diagnosed with strep throat last week. So we swabbed her. She was negative for her, for her throat. Um, so we're thinking some type of viral pharyngitis and superimposed maybe asthma exacerbation. So um, we gave her breathing treatment and sent her home with some medicine. So there's reps that come in um, for like Gerber and all these different companies that have different kinds of formula and they just drop off a bunch of free samples for the pediatrician to give to new moms. Um, sometimes their kids have difficulty with certain types of formulas so they can at least try their samples and things like that. In other news, I just gave an HPV vaccine. All right, it is. 
We're done seeing all the morning patients. They ordered some food. I'm gonna go pick it up and grub. Honestly, the morning was pretty slow. There were only like, probably like, probably less than 15 patients. So it was a pretty slow morning. Um, hopefully the afternoon picks up because I'm trying to just like fly through this day, see as many patients as I possibly can on my last day and hopefully soak out, squeeze out every last bit of information that I possibly can because I don't think I'm gonna be seeing peas again for a long while. Welp, we're done with lunch and that mid-afternoon like tiredness is already setting in, but I've got about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna try to hit some questions on Amboss before we start seeing more patients. Wish me luck. All right, we are done for the day at 4.27. Um, second half of the day was just kind of all over the place. Um, saw a patient with impetigo, which is basically like a, it was all in his nose and all over his lips. It's a superficial skin infection. Saw more patients with asthma exacerbations. Um, someone who had a bullish, like blistering open wound on their arm. A uh, bunch of well child checkups and vaccines and you name it. Um, just a little bittersweet there at the end saying goodbye to everyone. And I actually ended up joining Peds a lot more than I thought I would. It was a lot of fun. It was. Um, just a cool thing to be a part of. You know, you get to kind of be a part of this person's life for however many years, sometimes 18 years. Um, get to know their family and you get to kind of be a part of taking care of them, which is really cool. Um, anyways, I'm gonna head to the gym. I gotta get my mind right if I'm gonna study later and hopefully reduce some of these stress levels. So let's go get a nice back day in and then hopefully start cranking some questions later. All right, it's 7.03, we are back at the apartment, and um, I took a shower, ate some food, watched an episode of Peaky Blinders, and now I'm finally getting ready to do some questions. <sighs> gotta dig deep for this one. Um, only two more days left of peed, so I just gotta stick it out, but um, gonna make me some tea, and then jump in. guys it's about 8 50 i am tapping out i did 20 questions didn't really review them too much because i'm kind of running on fumes at this point um so that's going to be it for my video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a like subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more videos um if you have any questions for me leave it down in the comments and on that note i will see you guys in the next episode